I can change the active driver just by clicking on it. So right now I'm driver one, and now I'm back to my own. I can also change who is in the driver's seat. So when I click on this driver's seat button, I can choose who's driving at that moment. Here in the uh, HOS screen, we have uh, some information here. So there's four tabs along the top. You have status, graph, logs, and options. That blue bar is displaying how much driving time that you have available at that moment. So I have six hours and 16 minutes left of driving. Below that, you have rest in, driving left, workday left and cycle left. So I have six hours and 16 minutes of driving available before I have to take my 30 minute rest period. I have 10 hours and 40 minutes of driving time available for the day out of my 11 hours that I started with. I have 12 hours and 16 minutes left of my workday out of the 14 that I started with. And then I have 27 hours and 34 minutes remaining in my cycle. Over on the right, you have the four duty statuses. You have off, sleeper berth, on, and drive. And to change a duty status, you can just click on the button. So if I wanna go off duty for my rest period, I can click the off button, and then what's gonna happen is over on the left, it's now going to display my rest duration. Right now it's at zero minutes, but that's a timer and it's gonna to continue to count upwards. So I wanna make sure I let that get to 30 minutes before I go back on duty again. Now when you start driving, what's gonna happen, say that I'm on duty and I start driving. When the vehicle hits five miles per hour, it's automatically going to switch me from on to drive. That happens automatically. There's no action required on my part. Once I've stopped for five minutes, it's gonna switch me from drive back to on, and it's gonna backdate that. So here's what I mean. If I'm driving and at one o'clock, I stop. At 1.05, the system is gonna switch me from drive to on, but it's gonna backdate that to one o'clock, which is when I actually stopped. Now. This happens automatically, but if you see that you are outside of cell coverage and you will have a message along the top when that is the case, we do recommend updating your uh, records of duty status manually. And the reason for that is the GeoTab Drive app requires a mobile connection to keep your records of duty status current. So if you were to be pulled over for a roadside inspection, outside of cell coverage, your logs are only gonna be current up to the time when you went out of coverage, which is why we recommend when that happens, you update your duty statuses manually to prevent that. Now, even if you don't update your duty statuses manually when you're outside of coverage, that's okay, because when you go back into coverage, it's going to repopulate with anything that occurred while outside of coverage. So again, it's really just to protect yourself in the event of a roadside inspection. The next tab over is the graph tab. And the graph screen here plots your duty status over 24 hour period for a given day. These logs that you see here are color-coded. So any logs that are green are verified logs. Any logs that are gray are unverified logs. If you see logs that are yellow, those are edited logs. If you see a red bar, that is a violation. And if you see striped, like you do right here, that's uh, either a personal conveyance or a yard move exemption. You can use these arrows along the top to scroll through days. And then listed over here on the right, you have the time spent in each duty status. If you click on a log from the graph screen, it's gonna show you some additional information, including uh, the duration of the log and when it was created. Down at the bottom of the screen here, it's gonna have the starting and ending odometer for all vehicles driven that day. 